it's about time. We've seen lots of the beautiful externals of these cars, and they are beautiful. I'm a Ford guy, but I've got to say, I'm sitting in Macaulay Jones' Camaro, and these are just as gorgeous. They're big, muscular, big hips, sleek body that replicates the road car. But I'm just as intrigued to sit in one and feel the environment that the drivers are now working because everything is different. The pit lane's different, the car's different. The way we drive them, set them up, everything is different. And same sitting in here. There's a lot of things that are new and different to me sitting here or to a driver. And the first and most obvious one is the cockpit is smaller, way smaller. Behind me there used to be a rear seat or where the rear seat was, there was rear doors. And now I've got the firewall directly behind me and the fuel cell is directly behind that. So already I can tell you our fuel runs at 70 or 80 degrees, so it's really hot. There's heat coming through from there. So I just feel more confined. And then when we look at both the cars and the Camaro in particular, hey Coxie, can we just shut this door? If we shut this door, have a look at what we call the waistline of this car. The aperture, the window aperture is tiny. So when I sit in here in the racing position, I actually very hard to see the bonnet of a car out there or there. Very low at the front here, so my vision is compromised. And then I look out the rear here, this revision mirror here is a big curved revision mirror so I can see out my rear side windows, but there is no rear side windows. The fuel receptacles over that side, there's stickers and decals, so all that's different. A couple of other things I noticed in, we've still got our six speed sequential gear shift here, that hasn't changed, but what's missing is my anti-roll bars. Forever, you've seen Shane Van Gisbergen use them more than anyone. The anti-roll bars adjusted so you can adjust how stiff the rear and front of the car is in the race. So that's gonna really challenge drivers. Then the other one is the brake bias. Drivers had all sorts of devices to adjust very rapidly the bias of the brakes, how much you want on the front and how much is on the rear. So as your fuel load goes away from the rear of the car and your tyres degrade at the rear of the car, which they do faster than the front with all that horsepower, you can wind your bias to the front and you want to do that quickly in a session. Now everyone's got a winder. This is it here. You've got to wind, 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 wind. wind. So again, it's more challenging for the driver. My feet are up higher and my seat is down lower. So that's about 100 mil different. So from an ergonomics point of view, the angle of my lower back to the force, which is about 80 to 100 kilograms on the brake pedal, has changed enormously. Then the other thing here, the steering wheel, a bit hard to see it at the moment. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Sam, I don't know if you can point at that. All the buttons on the steering wheel here have all changed. And for a driver, there's a lot of muscle memory, there's a lot of mind memory around where your wiper button is, where your push to pass button, where your pit button is, where your talk button is, where your drink button is. There's a million little buttons and settings on here. So all that's got to be relearnt again. And then from a safety point of view, we are a little further inboard towards the centre of the car. As a driver, that always makes me feel safe. We've now got these two nets here. See these two nets compulsory on both sides. So there's no way my limbs, they're really for limbs. So in a crash, like Chas Mostert at Bathurst all those years ago, now my limbs can't fly around everywhere. We've got some leg restraint coming in here still. We've got our frontal head restraint on our helmet. We've got these ears on the seats. So the driver's down and in the car in a very inward position. And I actually got to say, I do feel safe sitting here. So, you know, they're angry on the outside, they're beautiful on the inside, but as they were designed to do, I see and look around in here, they're going to be more challenging for a driver to drive. Did I mention it's hot in here? Small, hot, confined, uncomfortable? Outstanding, just what we want.